Yeah, it's bizarre, actually. Um, just been doing interviews with, with Eleanor in age 22 and 23. We're being kind of uh, held up as figureheads for this for this championships, sort of um, leading the women's endurance team. And uh, yeah, it's daunting. <laughs> um, um, one Olympic gold medal and you, you wake up a new person the next day. And I guess getting, getting used to it a little bit, um, but this will be first chance to kind of make a stamp as an individual at World Championships. So um, yeah, it's exciting, it's scary, and it's going to be a challenge, but I'm ready to get my teeth stuck into it. With Team Pursuit, um, we'd usually go to a competition as a, a squad of five, and um, you wouldn't know whether all five are going to ride. You'd sort of maybe think that, uh, like I've had it multiple times, maybe more times than not, that I've been going into a competition thinking, I'm man five here, I'm the reserve, I don't know if I'm going to get a ride. And, that sounds scary, but kind of what it, what it forces you to do is just to be the best that you can, support the team the best that you can, and hope that your, your form comes out and, and you perform and you do get selected. Um, whereas when I'm going to, now I'm going to competition as an individual, I know that I'm definitely going to ride. And that was sort of barring illness, of course. Um, and that means that regardless of whether my form does come good or whether everything goes right, I'm going to ride anyway. Like it, it, so it potentially can go terribly, you know? <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that, that keeps you up a bit. Um, but it's, it's a, I'll turn it into a catchphrase now, but it's a new challenge. So um, learning, learning process, I'm just gonna have to get on board with it. So at the moment I've got the freedom, I'm writing my own plan. Um, Paul's being incredibly laid back about it actually, or uh, supportive, I suppose. Like I think he, uh, um, yeah, sort of wisely allowed me to have the space, um, make more mistakes. And uh, yeah, it doesn't mean that I'm still, that I'm not utilizing all the support that we have here because it's, it's so much more than just our one coach. Um, there's our physiologist and our SNC coach and our nutritionist and our psychologist and our physio and our doctor um, and your friends and your family. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, certainly, it's certainly not a, a one man band. Um, but I, I'm yeah, really enjoying having that autonomy and having kind of the, yeah, the authority to make my own decisions and call the shots. And uh, yeah, let's hope it doesn't backfire. I, I think I've put myself in the best position to, to give it a good shot. Um, it's obviously stiff competition. Uh, kind of the, the riders that I've gotten to know more as team pursuiters and individual pursuiters. And at this point in the Olympic cycle, I think well, we're kind of all thinking the same thing. If this is your chance to, to go as an individual to kind of bring your training a little bit more towards that steady state power rather than what I think I'm actually better at. It was the over under of team pursuit. Um, but I bring it on, somebody's got to win, don't they? <laughs> it's funny that it's become such a focus of the conversation so early, like when Tokyo is so far away. And I think that's just been forced by the uh, success that you pointed out that we've had. So. Um, I had uh, Emily Kay who was leading the World Cup series um, in the Omnium. I become European champion in the Omnium. Laura's obviously Olympic and world champion. Um, and uh, Emily Nelson also on the podium at a World Cup. Um, Eleanor Barker who didn't ride into the World Cups, but is obviously a formidable um, bunch race rider. Like there's no, there's no one obvious option. Um, like I feel privileged, I guess. I don't want to use the word luck because I think people uh, yeah, they dislike it as though it takes away your hard work, but I, I think I'm lucky to be given this Omnium spot. Um, it, wasn't, uh, <clears throat> it wasn't an easy selection um, because there's that competition. So yeah, we've got three years to kind of fight it out, you know? Um, but it's, it's made so much easier by the fact that Team Pursuit is always the, the backbone of our program. Um, and so we're always teammates before we're rivals, uh, which, which sounds cheesy, but um, it does. It just makes life so much easier and the training environment so much more fun.